Hiya, yeah. it's Trevor here, somewhat or nothing, back in the garden today, which usually means a tent review. Look, we've got another tent, another nature hike tent. It's not the Vic one that I mentioned in a previous video, that's on its way. This has been sent to me by Colin from Outdoor Gear Essentials. He buys products in nature hike, lanterns, all different products. Have a look at his site. He's UK based, next day delivery on all tents and really competitive prices. So really worth looking at and good to know that it's in, in hand in the, in the country. Any issues is easier to get hold of than some on the other side of the world. So really great to know. So thank you Colin for sending us this. I'm really excited to look at it. It's the Mongar 2, one of the tents that I haven't tried yet from Nature Hike. So we have a look, see what it's all about. First things first, got me scales. 1.97 kilograms so slightly heavier than the cloud up to slightly lighter than the cloud peak so i'd imagine from that that this is going to fall somewhere in between the two so i really don't know a lot about this tent as you know i never research how to put them up or anything like that never had a lot of issues with the nature hike tents to be fair you can usually put them up without even having to look at the instructions but for now let's have a look at this one so as with most nature hike tents there is a mat to go with it for extra protection on the bottom because it's a, a real lightweight sort of floor on the tent so you've got the, this one you don't have to take it with you but you can as extra protection when i've gone out in the vic one i haven't had the extra matting on that and never sprung a leak all nature hike tents as well come with the instructions inside so this is what we're going to be looking at again it's freestanding so it looks quite straightforward much like the cloud up two but with the crossbar so a bit like the star river and then it looks like the star river as well like that it has the two opposing doors let's get it set up let's get the mat out first along the floor Got some nice red nature hike pegs. This tent is the grey, as so, like my very first nature hike cloud up two and my Vic one in the same sort of colour. A lot of people say, you know, they don't like that colour, wish it was sort of more stealthy. But it's never been an issue for me. I like to use mine up on Dartmoor, and I think when it's set up against the tour you know the granite rocks it doesn't stand out so from a distance you couldn't really tell the tents there pegging out put it nice and tight with four corners let's go there 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 and there right once you've got the corner pegged out then it's onto the poles They're all held together with the elastic in there, so they go together nice and easy. Now, they seem to be sort of symmetrical. They don't seem to have a, a smaller or a bigger end at either end, so we'll just peg them in. If you see on the strap, there's a hole, a metal hole for that to clip in. So you just peg the corners in like that. You can go around, peg all four in. One in there. Now we get the inner sheet out. The inner sheet once again has the same metal holes, so you can go and find them and attach the the pole through both the inner and the ground sheet. Last one. Now one thing with these tents, you see this midsection here, well it can either go up, under, or over. And I think the drawing shows it going over. You can barely see it there, but 
you know, I think it goes over so it pulls tighter. Even though sometimes I do it, some people comment and say you've done it the wrong way, no matter what way I do it. But we're going to go over. So just spin it over, minding your eyes. Bring up here, you've got a red clip. Clip that in there. Now, this is the trickiest bit, it's just holding that up while you come around to do the other side. Like that. And then it's just simply clipping these plastic clips on, which is simply you attach them, twist them, and they're on. And then you carry on, do the rest. There you go, now the inner's up. And you actually get a sense of the, the size of that. It's quite a good size. So, I mean, if you knew it was going to be nice climate, it was going to be hot, you could just camp in that and it's a nice, nice tent just to shelter you from the, the mozzies and the, the insects. But of course, we don't have a nice climate over here. I mean, this is summer and we've literally had four weeks of rain. So we're going to put the fly sheet on now. So there's an inside and an outside. And notice on the inside, there's lots of bits to tie to. I haven't had that on any of the other nature hike tents so far. Usually you just stick it over and it just sort of sits where you want it. It does have on the corners clips like that, which down on the bottom corners of the ground sheet, there's also clips. So you can just clip that together and it holds it all together. So I'm going to try just lining them up for now. Now notice this door opens like that, and that door opens the opposite way. Ooh, missed one. So there probably is a left and a right to this, so let's try and sort that out to right. Who are they? So clip these together in the corners. And here. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad, it's lining up the seams and the poles and on the back. But what we can do, we can just adjust on here, you can pull this tighter. Not the easiest thing to do with one hand. So you can adjust them on these straps to get it tight. But we'll do that in a minute once we've pegged out the rest of the tent. So far we've used four pegs. It comes with another additional five, six. So it comes with an additional six pegs. So there's 10 pegs altogether. Also in the bag comes additional guy lines. What have we got here? One, two, three, four. So I've had a look around and it looks like the guy lines attach here and around the back. However, we will be two pegs short for those additional guy lines. So I might just keep the guy lines for when I'm out camping and I know which way the wind's coming from. So for now, I'll just leave them off and we'll have a quick look inside and a look around and see what the tent's like. Okay, so here's the tent. I've opened one door up so we can have a look inside in a minute. But first of all, we come over here, like the cloud up too, we have windows. And how this window works, there's like a little rod on there, a Velcro rod, and that sticks to that. and it just sort of holds it open like that. So there's airflow. And then there's another one at the back here as well. So two windows. This seems to be quite high off the ground, this back end. Um, if we have a look in. Oh well, yeah, plenty of room. So it feels a little bit bigger than the cloud up. And of course, having this headroom sort of pegged out up here, again, gives you a lot more room. There's an additional 
netting here is that so you can keep things up there stash things up above your head I suppose then you've got a hook here so you can hang a light it's not a bad size vestibule either and what you could do is because the doors open opposite ways you could hand it so you know if the winds come in this way you can open this door and cook here in the doorway be shielded from the wind that side if it's coming the opposite way you can do the, the opposite over that side in that door but yeah lovely lovely load of room in here I do love a nature hike tent I know you've seen me put up tents in the past and people say oh, I don't do the tents any justice and maybe I don't but when I've played around with nature hike tents for so long I never had any trouble with them never had any trouble getting them up they're just a smashing tent uh, these tassel bits are hanging down you can see where you can tie it off I probably wouldn't tie it because it's clipped into the ground sheet it's all in the right place pretty much uh, it could slightly move over here but it's all adjustable on the, the straps so I think if I tied that up it just makes taking it down a bit more awkward because you've got to get in there and untie it it's up to you you could do it's not a hard job um, like the cloud up too you could also put the external up first I mean if it's raining you wouldn't want to put the inside up you'll get it soaked you can put the frame up and then hang the outer skin up over the top and then you can come in and put the inner sheet up next in the shelter from the rain so great options there's a lot of mesh at the top so it's probably uh, more of a late spring summer autumn tent than a winter tent seems to be a bit more mesh than I have in the cloud up and as you see it's quite high off the ground so I'd imagine that the wind would howl through here as well uh, it could get quite breezy I should think but you probably could you know you can adjust them you can shorter the strings that you're pegged down on if you wanted bring it closer to the floor but there you go the Mongar 2 now all we've got to do is pack this down uh, we'll quickly see how easy that is so the Mongar 2 is 210 by 105 centimeters the ground sheet they say it's a 20d nylon fly sheet with a breathable mesh and a hydrostatic head of 4,000 millimeters and a 20d nylon tent floor with aluminium poles and pegs so I say for the extra weight this is a lot more roomy than the cloud up two and although it isn't probably isn't as robust as the cloud peak two it's certainly not as difficult to put up it does also put me in mind of the old star river that i had it's practically the same design except i think maybe the mongar has the two opposite doors i must say as well the zip on this seems to be a vast improvement to the cloud peak cloud peak zip seemed really fine um, and I thought the same with the cloud up but I never had issues with the cloud up with the cloud peak I snagged the door several times and it got caught and it bubbled and it was a bit of a pain in the ass. but this zip seems a lot more robust do as well is keep the ground sheet <clears throat> in the pack I won't bother putting it back into its own bag I'll just keep it all together you want it the same width as that you know it'll go in the bag never as neat when I pack them up as when it came but it will do the job make sure you've got the pegs and the guide ropes I mean you can get rid of the plastic bag and just keep them in the, the vinyl bag that comes with it and the bag's got a drawstring on it so nothing will fall out same as the poles like that so put it all together 
roll from one end. There it goes. So there you go, it's packed up. It's not as neat as it was, but um, you know, a lot of the time I just shove it in anyway. I didn't even roll it like that, so. But that was easy enough. No sweat in there. So great little tent. I look forward to testing this out on a trail when I get the time. So thanks Colin, check out his channel, and thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all soon. Cheers.